Today, we're going to answer the question, are artificial sweeteners bad for you, and look into some of the science on the topic. At the end, I will recommend two artificial sweeteners that are safe to consume. Let's start by defining the term artificial sweetener a little better. Artificial sweeteners in the context of this video are any substance used to replace sugar or sugar alcohol and mimic a sweet taste, even the sweeteners that come from plants. So what does the science say about artificial sweeteners? Nothing conclusive really. We have studies showing they help people lose weight and studies showing they make people gain weight. We have studies showing artificial sweeteners lead to more cravings and other studies showing that they don't. There's lots of contradicting science and not a lot of conclusions are double-blind studies. The only thing we really know that's a little worrisome is that a few kinds of artificial sweeteners have been shown to negatively affect the gut bacteria in both rats and humans, so we should avoid those. Also, when it comes to the subject like this with conflicting evidence, it's easier to look at the potential upsides and downsides. The potential upsides, they make your drinks taste better, they can help people quit drinking sodas or more harmful substances, and potentially you won't get fat drinking them. The potential downsides? Some can cause disruption in gut bacteria which could lead to a glucose intolerance. Other observational studies link them with weight gain and increased appetite. They also don't provide any nutritional value whatsoever and are clearly not an essential nutrient to the human body. So let's answer some questions. Are artificial sweeteners bad for you? Not really. At least for now, there's no conclusive evidence that artificial sweeteners are going to kill you or do any major damage to the body. There are definitely potential downsides, but if you choose the right one, you should be fine. So what is the best kind of artificial sweetener? There are two that seem the most benign, stevia and erythritol. As of today, neither of these are linked to any harmful effects, and stevia even has some evidence that it lowers blood sugar levels in diabetics. I would, however, avoid any of the packets you find at the tables and restaurants until some more conclusive evidence surfaces. Here's my final thoughts. Artificial sweeteners are not going to kill you and are not the devil like some health foodists claim. If you're healthy, happy, and are at a weight you like, then artificial sweeteners seem to be fine, especially if you're already consuming them. And if you are planning to consume them, stick to stevia and erythritol. However, if you don't need them, then there's no real reason to add them to your diet. They don't provide anything more than a sweet tooth fix, so keep that in mind. Shout out to Mona Meyer for suggesting this topic on our last video and getting the most upvotes in the comment section. You the real MVP. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you have any suggestions for the next video, we'd love to see it in the comment section. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber we get, a group of cuddly husky puppies is born. So please subscribe to The Health Nerd for healthy tips and tricks backed by science. If weight loss is something you're interested in, you can always check out our online e-course, The Science of Fast Weight Loss. You can see the results from some of our past clients on that page, and people we have worked with personally. Links will be in the description and on this screen. Cheers.